What is something you learned too late in life? When I was a teenager, I posted a status online that said I was jacking off. I thought that meant you were just bored and wasting time until my older sister messaged me, horrified. That a prostitute doesn't actually sell a piece of their body. Backstory, my mom and I were watching the scene from Titanic where Jack tells Rose that he painted a one-legged prostitute. I asked my mom what a prostitute was and she told me it's someone who sells their body for money. I could not fathom why someone would sell their leg for like 30. I learned too late that taking breaks and prioritizing self-care are not signs of laziness, but essential for overall well-being. Balancing work and personal life is a lifelong lesson that pays off when embraced early. Don't trust anybody. Took me forever to learn to stop giving a shit about unimportant things. Life isn't a competition I grew up constantly comparing myself to others and pacing myself against others and this made me develop in a way my mentality and body was not meant to. I matured too fast in the places I should have get grow slowly I have so many regrets due to living too fast because I wanted to catch up and be other people I knew in things I thought I could do. To buy property in the Twine 8 housing market crash. What was 10 year old me thinking? People who talk to you about other people talk about you to other people too. Stop worrying about what people think. No one gives a shit. Making exercise a priority. How to stay out of debt and save for retirement. Work to live, don't life to work. How quickly your parents can decline. A decline, mental or physical, is not necessarily linear. With both my parents, they were clearly aging, but it seemed to be going in on a predictable tagedery. Then, with each one, they took a turn for the worse quite suddenly. I was completely unprepared for how much care they would need. How unappealing it really is to be a people pleaser. Emotionally healthy people don't really like to be in relationships romantic, platonic, or work related with people pleasers. All it does is attract manipulators, narcissists, and people who generally don't seek the satisfaction of equitable relationships. That giving a fuck is entirely optional and, very often, the wrong path to take. The only people who will get mad at you for putting up a boundary are the people who you definitely need boundaries with. My thoughts, opinions, life, none matter outside of my little bubble friends family. The first couple times I saw comments referring to BBC, I thought British Broadcasting Corporation? What the fuck are they talking about? I figured it out based on context, but I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't put it together right away. Reading between the lines. I'm used to a very direct culture and unintentionally cause some drama taking things literally.